Does owning your home feel out of reach with today's sky-high prices? What if I told you there's a plan that could drop $25,000 right into your lap for a down payment? Vice President Kamala Harris has introduced a proposal that could provide first-time homebuyers with up to $25,000 to make your dream home a reality. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how this plan works, who qualifies, and what you need to do to take advantage of it when it becomes available. So what's the deal with this $25,000? Kamala Harris introduced this proposal to help people who've been stuck renting or struggling with down payments. It's a big deal because down payments are often the largest obstacles when it comes to buying your first home. The goal is to make homeownership more accessible, especially for low and moderate income families. So if you've been paying rent like clockwork for at least two years, and your income doesn't exceed 120% of your area's median income, you could be one step closer to owning your own home. But that's not all. The plan also includes a push to build 3 million affordable homes, aiming to fix the root issue of supply shortages in the housing market. So who exactly qualifies for this plan? It's focused on first-time homebuyers, but there's more. The program also prioritizes first-generation homebuyers, or those whose parents or guardians haven't owned a home recently. This could really help disadvantaged communities, including African Americans, Hispanics, and Native American buyers. Basically, if you've been dreaming of owning a home but thought it was out of reach, this could be your chance. Now the big question, can you get your hands on this money right now? Well, not yet. This plan is still making its way through Congress and hasn't been passed into law just yet. It was first introduced in 2021 and remains under consideration. So while the $25,000 is not available right now, that doesn't mean you're out of options. Many states have their own first-time homebuyer assistant programs that you might qualify for, so be sure to check those out. If this plan goes through, it could help millions of Americans finally afford their first home. But there is a potential downside. Some experts warn that unless more homes are built to meet demand, this kind of financial assistance could actually drive prices up even higher. And like I mentioned before, this is exactly why. The proposal includes a plan to build 3 million new affordable homes over the next few years. If this happens, we could see both more home ownership opportunities and a more balanced market. But without those new homes, increased competition could push prices up, making affordability even more of a challenge. So what's next? If this proposal gets passed, it could open doors for millions of Americans to achieve their dream of home ownership. But we know exactly how quickly and easily things get done within the confines of Congress. I'll keep you updated on the progress of this plan, but in the meantime, what do you think? Could this proposal help you buy your first home? Drop a comment below and let me know. Make sure to subscribe for more real estate tips, updates, and advice on how to make home ownership a reality. And while you're here, check out some of my other videos. You won't want to miss what's next.